So again, welcome back. And in this lecture, what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the Tractor Control S8. The S8 is the flagship controller of the Native Instruments range. It is designed specifically for Tractor Pro, which we've gone through in an earlier lecture and you've got on your screen in front of you. I'm using the exact same setup. We're using the demo tracks to come with Tractor Pro to make sure everybody can follow along with what we're doing. And the idea behind the S8 is that we no longer actually need to be stuck behind the laptop we can play the controller and our sound files from here, giving us greater interaction with the audience. Uh, that's greatly facilitated by the fact that we've got two LCDs here. And in these LCDs, we can go in, we can browse our track collection, pick our tracks, pick remix sets, whatever the case may be, and we can quickly get back to our waveform. So we don't need to be looking at messing around with a mouse and so on and so forth on a laptop. This is all right in front of us so we can concentrate on just the music alone with it at our fingertips. Uh, it is laid out in the same roughly manner as the um, Tractor Pro software. Basically, we've got four faders, four channels, four sets of EQ, one for each channel, uh, a filter, our Q buttons, and our crossfader. We've got Q points right directly underneath us. We've got eight in total for each deck. We can swap decks by pressing the deck button, and then you'll see the colors change, you see the screen change, because these two decks, as I said already, We've already used them as remix decks. We can press play, we can turn up the volume on that single one, we can turn up the channel, and we'll be getting through the audio of our 909 kick. We can add in the bass, we can turn that up, we can add in our synths, we can add in our piano, we can turn on and off the sync to make sure everything works in order. We can turn up our other deck, we can select our samples in this deck, Four. We've got our other two main decks, which we, uh, if you remember, we have them operating as normal decks. We can press our deck button, go back to our deck again, press play. Do the same here. And we've got our sync buttons, to make sure everything runs in sync. Filters. All the tools are right at our fingertips. We can select our FX bank, we can get into our FX select, select which effect we like, load it up, our reverb, turn it on. Messing with our effects as much as we like. Turn off our filters, take the tracks in, take the tracks out. using our crossfader. It basically controls Tractor directly. Everything is intuitive, everything's at your fingertips. If ever you use the DJ controller, this is it, except it's on steroids, and everything is at your fingertips. If you've DJ before, DJ before this will be a build-up of intuition from even just your standard two-channel mixer, adding on another two channels, adding on an extra two decks, all at your fingertips. Top class, I love it, get into it.